Interesting. It might be. If so, that's dope. This is an interesting start, though. Um... I think I go for a shovel. Yeah. I think I go for a shovel. And we can get this whetstone and healing herb. They buffed a the Deerwood Guardian? Did they? What did they buff it for? Like, what? what's the change? Hey, Sly Pie. <laughs> Probably gonna win. I mean, it's just a broom. Or not? I have stamina issues. That's not good. Uh, okay, we still won. Let's go. That's an early dragon scale armor. I like to see my early dragon scales armors, though. I like to see those. Those are nice. Space. I try going for another claws because we're going to need another weapon. We can't just rely on these two weapons. We're going to need another weapon. I think we'll go for this. Okay. 0.8 second berserker mode per nature item. What was it before? It was 0.5, right? That's a kind of a big buff. Triple bows and arrows with double banana. Not good. Berserker mode save me. Let's go. GG's. W berserker mode as always. Give me that. What do we got? Eight. I can buy both of these. Probably not going to be able to use both of them, but I can buy both of them. I guess we'll go with the chance to resist. There goes my claws of attack. That's very nice. Can I do something different here? Like, I kind of want you to be oops inside of the... Uh, Backpack. That would make me happy. Okay, we can. Awesome. That works. Ah, Regina is probably better. It was 0.5 when it came out, but it was 0.6 before the update, I think. And now they upgraded it to a 0.8. Gnarly. Okay, Mr. Lovers. And you got spikes. Spike shield. That is not good. Berserker mode came in clutch right there, though. Ah, oh, but that poison is at 11. Even with my poison resist jewel. My baby poison resist jewel. Box of riches on sale? Hmm. I still think we go with claws of attack. So I'm gonna give me a claws of attack. And I'm gonna get this fanny pack for space. And I kind of want both of these for Bloody Dagger. And then Box of Jewels on sale on round four isn't too bad. Um, I'll just move you up by one. Do a little situation like this. I'm going to just sell you, buy you later to get extra spaces in the shop. I need space. Like a lot of it. Double broom. Just the regeneration, and he's got the health potion on top of that. Not good. Berserker mode, save me. Oh no. Nope, we lost. <laughs> Freaking poison, bro. Oh my gosh. I need that. I feel like we buy that regardless. Like, there's no way we don't buy that. I kind of want the goober too for a cheese goober. But we kind of just don't have the cheese already. Uh, not sure what to do here. I need space. I feel like I can't buy anything and I need space. Getting a hungry blade is actually pretty interesting. I say I get that next round. 
and we get ourselves another dragon skill armor this round. And we'll just roll with this. Yeah. And we lost. <laughs> Chili Goober, Burning Torch. Don't know why what you're doing with that guy. You should put some flames next to that guy. But I think we lost just because of the heat. Infinite heat generation. Berserker mode might save us here? Okay. Let's go B mode. That's a W. Alright. Sorry, Shovel. Thank you for giving me the free pig, though. I greatly appreciate that. I could go for the Goober now. Damn it, bro. Give me space. I mean, I am kind of eating it all up because of the, the armors. Okay, what are we doing here? Hmm. So we move all this up by one. And we could put the banana here. Forging hammer can go there. Double armor. There. I think we sell this pig. I think I'd rather have the jewels on there. I could do that. That's probably the best thing in the world, but. Do I need this whetstone anymore? I don't think so. I'm gonna sell the whetstone. Move that over. And I could do that. I think I'll also buy this fanny. Just to have another one. Also give me a little bit more space to work with. Regen for the hungry blade. You can go there. And I guess I'll just put you somewhere. Okay, that works. Do I win? I think so. Just because we got double dragon scale. Plus the vampirism is nice. He has no uh, garlics to remove the vampirism from us. And then our damage is going to increase because of the empowerment. That two empowerment means everything. <laughs> it means a lot. Good game. Um. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and buy you now. Roll. I don't want anything here. Well, I kind of do. Bloody dagger would be nice. Bird would be nice, but... We need space. Stop giving me... Okay, I, I, I like the fanny packs, but please. Stop giving me fanny packs and give me leather bags. I feel like I have to take you. I have to. I didn't have to sell that there, did I? Oh, well. Thorn whip. Chain whip? We have to. I mean, we're gonna have to switch it up. <laughs> like, this is not gonna, we're doing good so far, but it's not gonna last much longer. We have to go chain whip. So let's go chain whip. We can't do it now, cause we don't have money. I can sell you for one, that'll be five. I can sell this six, seven. Garlic for eight, get an upgrade now. Might be better than getting an upgrade later, right? Ah, let's do it. Selling you, you, you. I could also just sell the, the healing herbs. Maybe. Not Bloodthorn? No. I think Chain Whip is better than Bloodthorn. Do that. But yeah, I, I, I honestly think that... Chain Whip is better than Bloodthorn. I don't think Bloodthorn is that good anymore. <laughs> I really don't. I do not think Bloodthorn is all that great anymore. I think I keep you like this. Wait, you're in triple fannies. Um, you're in a fanny. Bananas in the fanny. Everyone's inside of duffel bag. Everyone's happy. We'll stick to this. 
Okay. We're both getting our upgrades off. I see you. Hopefully I can win. Berserker mode, pog. This looks like a W. Berserker mode is clutchy. Good game. They nerfed Chain Whip again. It's still good. Chain Whip is still good even after the nerf. Like, it's just... Nasty. It's just nasty. Let's go fighter. Space. Big boy space. Take that. Um, We're going to have to figure out our stamina soon. So honestly, getting this banana is probably good. It's better than nothing. Roll. Nothing good. Forgot I was getting jewels. Do I need a regular sapphire? Besides for hitting health directly, I mean, not really. I'm a roll. Flutes. Flute equals stamina. Stamina equals good. What am I doing with this goober, bro? I need a cheese. Or at least turn into a blood goober. Or at least, like, I don't know, something. Can I use it? I wonder if I have enough space to use it, actually. I'm gonna have to see. We did just get this potion belt. So that, like, helps a little bit, at least. If I put you here, this can go like that. We're gonna fanny pack that up eventually, but... Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, okay, um, well, yeah, okay, <laughs> that goes like that, and fanny pack, fanny pack, boom, okay, our other act, oh, yeah, we, we don't forget this, what was faster, 2.6, 1.6, okay, Anyways, yeah, that goes like that. You could turn you like that. So forging hammer is getting some love. And I guess we go double banana on the other side of this. Like that. Where am I putting this guy? I guess I could put it on the other claws. Like that. Fitting space for their dragon skills is going to be difficult, though. Because, yeah. Unless I do this. That works. Yeah. Okay, that works. What are we at? A 1.2? I mean, I got double banana. Give me a banana, Goober. Okay. <laughs> chain whip versus chain whip. He can either go for a still Goober or, or a cheese Goober. If he really wanted to. But we got double dragon scale, which is good for us. As far as buffs go, I mean... He's giving us healing herb buffs, plus the buffs from the cheese. But we're giving him empowerment and mana. <laughs> I don't know who's gives, who gives the most buffs here, but I feel like it's going to come down to whoever is giving the most buffs for uh, our chain whips to increase in damage is probably going to be the person that wins. Ouch. How are you doing much more damage to me? What's going on here? Oh, you started with more health. 145 versus my uh, 115. Okay. That makes sense. Eight to 13, 13 to 18. So I'm doing more damage here. But I don't know how we're losing. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm like, what? Oh, he has an acorn collar. Oh no, that hurts. That extra two seconds of Berserker mode is probably going to be the decider here, realistically. One more hit and we're probably dead. <gasps> we crit for 40. No. Yeah, that extra two seconds of taking the reduction in damage. I think lost us that. Do we need this, actually? I mean, we're only at a one point something. I don't think we do. I think we pass on it. I do think we need space, though. 
Okay. This was good. This is really good, actually. I don't know if I need a third dragon scale armor. I think I passed on third dragon scale armor. We definitely get spike hauler. And getting this is probably smart too. You have so much armor. We do. And I don't think I need a third one. Yeah, we could put uh, jewels inside the armor slots too. That is true. I don't think I need a third one. Because this is what... Oh, they nerfed this. <laughs> Wasn't this like 25 or something? Or 15? I didn't know they nerfed this. It's 13 now. So that's 26. And then this guy is 30? 20. So we can take 46% reduction in damage. I didn't know they nerfed those. Damn, that kind of makes me want to have another one. I don't know. I don't want to spend the money on it. So I think I'm going to just pass on that. Okay, looks like he was going to go for a magic torch, but never got it. <laughs> He's still missing his health potion until this day. Probably going to win this. Look at I mean, how many buffs he's giving us right now. Yeah, we definitely win this. 34. Nice. Game. Good game. Alrighty. I'm going to take the Corrupted Crystal. And I'm going to take the Stamina Sack. I don't know where to put it. I guess it doesn't matter where I put it. I'll just roll with that. Because I want to get me a corru uh, Corrupted Heart. That's why I got the Corrupted Crystal. Because the Corrupted Heart also stills buffs. Which means that the damage of my uh, Chain Whip can scale faster. Which is important. This guy actually did have his Magic Torch. So his damage increase is a nutty. But that Spike Collar, that extra two seconds, matters so much. There goes my Corrupted Heart. <laughs> I'll take that. Roll... Boom. Where am I putting you? I don't know. But you gotta go somewhere. You can go there. Not a horrible spot. You're also three seconds. Hmm. Does Dark Heart increase chain whip damage? Yeah. I believe so. I think... Because the description is that... Remo uh, remove two random buffs from your opponent. Well, okay. You deal plus one damage for each buff you remove from your opponent. So anything that removes buffs from your opponent increases the damage of Chain Whip. So Chain Whip itself removes buffs, so that increases your damage. Corrupted Heart removes buffs. That increases your damage. Um, uh, where is it? Uh, Mrs. Struggles removes a buff, so that increases your damage. If you go on Reaper, manage to get the Chain Whip on a Reaper. Um, the Burning Banner removes buffs, so manage to get a Chain Whip on Pyromancer. That increases damage. Um, something else I'm missing. Okay, but anyways, anything that removes buffs... Increases the damage of Chain Whip. It doesn't have to be the Chain Whip itself. Am I sure it works? Well, it's hard to test, but I believe so. My brain would like to think so, at least. I think I'm just going to do that, though. It's a faster activator than the, uh, the banana. Oh, the jewel. 20% chance to remove random buff from your opponent. That increases the damage of the chain whip. So those are actually good on the uh, the jewel slots. But yeah, I believe anything that removes buffs increases the damage. It's hard to test that though, like... Like, it's actually hard to test that. So this is why I went to uh, Blood Thorn. He's also got a heart container. Um, double jewels. Oh, he went with Shaman Mask, too. He'll probably proc his Glowing Crown. Well, actually, maybe not. Because <laughs> we're stealing buffs from him. So, which means his regeneration and mana is ours. So, will he ever proc his Glowing Crown or the Heart? I don't know. 
Plus, we're decreasing the damage that his Bloodthorn does because we're removing the Vampirism and Spikes. But there goes his Berserker mode. He'll probably proc his crown, though. He's already at 8 mana. If that crown procs, I think we lose. That 2 seconds of invulnerability is going to be in in insane. Our heart container proc somehow? Don't know how, but it did. There goes his crown. Can we survive? Looks like we did. And we crit for 62. That's game. We Yeah. We got up to 53 to 60 damage. Go slowly and pause before heart goes off. And also after. Okay. Wait, can't we see it here? Because technically we have chipped amethyst removing buffs, right? I guess we'll go mana. Okay, well, chain won't remove that much mana. Okay, so here the amethyst removes spikes. But where? We got to find out where. <laughs> and then like, well, we can't look at the damage difference, can we? Because the damage, no, we can't actually look at the damage difference. Okay, so we pretty much just have to find out where uh, Spikes was removed from the Amethyst, right? Okay. Where is that? Here. Okay, so here we're at 50 to 57 damage. And here we're at Still 50 to 57. Maybe it doesn't work that way then. There's no way it doesn't. There's no way it doesn't, right? Wait. Fifty-one to fifty-nine. Okay, it does. So like right here, because right here it says to remove one spikes, right? Remove one spikes, chip amethyst. So before that happens, we're here. So we're at fifty to uh, fifty-seven. And then after it happens right here, we're at 51 to 59. So it increased it by one. It went from 50 to 51 and 57 to 59. So it does work. It does work. So anything that removes buffs works. Hey, Tana. How's it going? Speaking of, 45% chance to remove a buff. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's get space. This. And then we also got Dark of Hardness, stealing two buffs, which is insane. Um, I guess we don't sell you. I wonder if it's better to do this or to do that. I actually don't know. Because the Claws of Attack is faster than the Chain Whip, and it just keeps on getting faster because of spikes. The Chain Whip kind of just doesn't get faster, even though, I mean, it is in three Fanny Packs. It is 30% faster. I don't know if 30% faster is faster than 1.6 though we'll have to see next round because the faster weapon would probably be better to have a 45 percent chance on right versus a slower weapon removing buffs from any source gives the whip damage it, exactly now it, it just sucks when you're not going against a build that doesn't have buffs like a reaper build or something then you're kind of fucked all right i think i get this birdie i think birdie would be good Replace it as an activator on the Goobert. I think would be ideal. You know, we don't have money. I'll grab you. I don't mind. Hello. Okay. All right. I say we get the fencing, fencing rapier. That's what I say. Um. Do I need another Corrupted Crystal? We kind of already got a Heart of Darkness. I don't think we really need another Corrupted Crystal. Stealing counts as removing for the whip. Oh, it's stealing removing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'd like to think so, but I actually don't. I guess we could do more testing. That's a really good question. We could do more testing and figure it out. Let's see. Okay. Unless we go against someone that doesn't have buffs, which this person has buffs. Hell yeah, we're getting buffs from that, buffs from the blueberries, from banana, from the Fortuna's Hope. So you, my friend, Heart of Darkness, should definitely be removing us. Which one's faster? 1.5, 1.6, okay. 
So this is just faster. And you just removed buffs. So let's see. Removed. Wait. What am I looking at? Regeneration? I can't hover. Yeah, I can't hover. Damn. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to wait. Nah. Okay, yeah, let's just wait until the end of the, the game because we can't really hover. This goob was supposed to be a still goober? No, I wanted it to be a cheese goober. But I haven't found cheese. <laughs> Unfortunately, we haven't found any cheese. So he's just a lonely goober, a little baby goober for now. We did just pass up a blood amulet. I could have turned him into a blood goober, which would have been better than nothing. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So heart of darkness removes there. So we are here we're at 7 to 12 remove the what you call it and then we're here 10 to 15 i think it worked i think it worked because they removed right so it doesn't really steal it just it removes and then you gain i think the wording just says steal but i think game logic wise it will just remove the buff and then you gain that buff I don't think it actually like game logically like I don't think there's three remove gain and steal. I think it's just remove and gaining. I think that's the only two things that happen removing and gaining even though it says steal. But I think like the way it's coded it's like okay you remove and you gain. And that's how it I think. Um. So I want to get this fencing fencing rapier. Because I'm a maniac. Selling the claws of attack. Rapier goes here. So it looks like that. I also want to get this. I don't think this of jewels. For it, right? We don't really need the region. Well, I guess the region helps the Heart of Darkness proc a little bit faster. So maybe we keep the region. Is that six, seven, eight, nine? Rip my jewels, but. Birdie. I want birdie. All my homies love birdie. Uh, where can we put you? Also, can I make this better? There we go. That's definitely better. Definitely, defiantly. Deal. I'd rather you be in the duffel bag, but I guess I guess that works. Why rapier? Well, you see, the thing about rapier is it's just amazing. It increases its own DPS without any outside help. There's not a lot of weapons that do that. That's the good thing about the rapier. And it's also good when you're going against a blind build. Because if this thing doesn't have accuracy, it can't do anything. But this thing, if it doesn't have accuracy, it's just going to keep missing until finally it hits. <laughs> You're just going to gain a bunch of clovers. And it's going to hit for like 60 damage. Because every single time it just keeps on increasing the damage. I keep seeing this build and I don't, I don't understand the logic behind it. Because to me, it sucks. <laughs> like, every time I see this build, I win. But this is the most organized version of this build I have ever seen. <laughs> Wow, you did really good. Wow, I'm impressed, actually. This is the most organized version of this build I've ever seen. He's got double Mr. Well, he's got Mr. Struggles. He's got double Corrupted Crystal on it and then a single one outside. And he's got three Stone Skin Potions on double Shield of Valor plus the Gloves of Haste. This is the most organized version of this build I've ever seen. And the shitty part is he has no buffs. He has not a single buff for us to steal. So I guess that means... I guess that's why the Rapier is good. Because while this isn't increasing in damage, the Rapier still is. So at least we have a backup way of dealing damage. 
Because we can't really rely on the chain whip in this situation, can we? So we'll just rely on the fencing, fencing rapier. Although we're still probably... I think we lose this, actually. He's got way too much block. And as soon as fatigue mode comes in, corrupted crystals is just going to destroy. And we don't have stamina. We got stamina issues. Selling jewels is a bad play for birdie. You think so? I don't think it would have helped in this situation. Yeah, he's got way too much block. We actually lose. I am... This is actually... Good. I think this is a good build because it doesn't have buffs. It's got no buffs at all. So Chain Whip is useless. But I do think if we had Stamina, we would have done a lot better with having Fencing Fencing Rapier there. Yeah, the, the Yellow Jewel would help, I guess. For Stamina sakes. We go for a light, Goobert. We should probably go for a light, Goobert. We'll probably lose next round because of stamina. But we should probably go for a light, Goobert, right? Don't know where to put you. I'm prepared to lose this next round, though. The blue ones as well? I don't know. I'd rather have the buff removing inside the uh, the weapon slots versus um versus the blue jewel. I mean, in that situation, blue jewel would have worked to bypass the armor, right? Versus this because of he had no buffs, but that doesn't happen too often. I think we lose this, though. <laughs> We've got no stamina. This guy's got a burning blade with triple molten daggers and then the phoenix on top of that. As soon as our Berserker mode goes away, we're dead. Oh, it went away. We're dead. We almost won that, though. But now we have Light Goober, which is just better. Yes, I needed this space so badly. I kind of want to get both of those. Um... Imagine chaining with the ranger pets. Oh. Oh. That would be incredible. If I ever get the chance to try that, I'm going to try it. So, Wobbertinger should help us out with stamina. At the very least. I think this is good. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Every time I see a busted blade, I get scared. Jesus Christ. You have three box of riches. All right, let's see what happens. He's got stamina, we don't. I am sad. Give me all your buffs, where are they? Where's your fucking buffs? Where are his buffs? <laughs> this is not good. I need you to keep missing though, please. Thank you. See, Light Guru W. Okay, 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 okay. One more hit from something or a few somethings. Keep missing. Let's go. That was nice. Good game. Bing. Was that 10? I could also get a flute. 
he got some mana, I guess. Yeah. Do I need a flute? Nah, I don't want flute. I want the stamina potion. I could get this for more stamina, 30%. Could also combine these two for more stamina. Do we need a stamina potion? Maybe we don't get a stamina potion. We got Whopper Tinger. Plus those. We could also utilize this. It's gonna be 12. I was really hoping for space. Ah. Hmm. I guess that works, right? Yeah, that works. Um, we'll get this next round. Um, yeah, that works. All right. Uh oh. Not a dark saber and a bunch of cards. Card bills are crazy. One more fanny pack and a whip. Yeah, we could. That is true. Probably be better too. Yeah, let's do that. Already got six freaking blind. Stop blinding me. I guess this is when the uh, the rapier comes in handy though. This man has 50 mana. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can we win? I mean, we're... Oh, that hurt. This is a crazy-ass pill. Because... <sighs> bro. You got all the mana in the world you could ever want. <laughs> Give me both of those. I don't even know if we have stamina issues or not. I do want you, but I don't know where to put you. Uh, I think we're good on jewels, actually. So I'm gonna do this. Where I put you? Uh, rapier? Rapier wouldn't be bad. You think Stam is good now? Yeah, I think Stam is good too. Holy debuffs, yeah, that. Yeah, I've never tried that build before, but it makes me want to try it now. That was crazy. Um, that looks solid, though. All right, you're gonna have buffs. Mr. Blurring Blade, give me all that regeneration. Give it to me! And all your heat that you don't generate. <laughs> then again, there's a 25% protection on all his buffs from being removed, right? Because of Burning Banner. But would a 25% be enough versus a lot of sources of removing of buffs? I've got two jewels, the Chain Whip plus the Heart of Darkness, all removing buffs. This is a pretty tight game so far. But my Berserker mode takes the cake. Takes it. Good game. 36 to 41 and then 22 to 28. And yeah, we were pretty good on stamina too. Heck yeah. Um, Looking at this corrupted crystal. I 
I could put this on an armor slot because we inflict debuffs with Light Goober, right? So technically, every time Light Goober activates, I gain seven block or six block, I guess. I guess this is, I don't know, it wouldn't be horrible. Hello. I guess I could sell this at the very end. <laughs> Burning Banner Boot might be good as well. I tried that like two times on Pyromancer and died. I do think it's good. I think I'm just doing it wrong. Because this is a holy item and Burning Banner removes buffs. Like they work so well together. I just wasn't able to make it work for some reason. I could buy like one last fanny pack. Oh no, I can't. This is the only thing I can sell or willing to sell. Unless I sell a jewel. Where would I even put the fanny pack? I could put it here so it's on the bird and the heart of darkness. Everything else is kind of fanny packed up. Sell you. Sell this guy. Get this guy. Do that. All right, here's the build. This is the buff stealing build of chain whip, stealing buffs, 45% chance for both of the weapons to steal buffs, um, heart of darkness is stealing buffs, all of while increasing the DPS that the chain whip does, which is beautiful. And everything else just compliments, to be honest. For stamina, mainly. Bunny, jewels for stam, this makes things faster. Bananas for stam, armor for armor, and, and yeah. It's a win, I believe. What are we going against? Oh, yeah, it's definitely a win. It's definitely a win. They got too many buffs. They got freaking Deerwood Guardian giving buffs. They got all the man in the world. <laughs> this is a buff build. This is what you call a buff build. They have nothing but buffs to give to me. Through stealing, through removing, everything. I want to proc my heart. I wonder if I'll be able to. Because they don't have regen. <laughs> That's the one thing. We're not going to be stealing regeneration from them. So the only way for me to get hearts is through Bunny. But Bunny only gives me buffs from the least buffs that I have. And that's probably not going to happen. Oh, poor Bunny. But yeah, we definitely win this for sure. Especially doing Berserker mode. Hell yeah. We actually managed to proc it. Somehow. Don't know how. But we managed to proc it. I don't know what gave us the extra region. I actually want to look at the block gain here. Uh oh, eh, 30. I mean, I guess 30 is not bad. Considering it all came from Light Goobert. It's not horrible. Especially with like another one or maybe like two more. It's not shitty. Yep. Chain Whip and Fencing Fencing Raper. It's a great combination. A great combination. And I guess that does help with accuracy. I forgot about that. Uh, brass Knuckles helps with accuracy. So even if we were going against that Dark Saber build, we were still having a way of attacking. Heart proc poggers, yeah. I don't know from what though. Let's see. Oh, the Heart of Darkness actually gave us three regeneration at the end. I guess we stole it from something over here. Did they get a mana orb proc? They possibly got a mana orb proc. That's the only thing I can think of. Because they do have like double mana order plus the Deerwood Guardian, giving them mana plus the blueberries and stuff. And the only thing that's eaten is the Magic Torch and the mana three is giving them mana. So I guess they got a mana or proc, ended up getting, and then mana from this. Mana or proc, ended up getting regeneration. We steal it. And we got the proc off of our heart. 30 block for seven gold. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice byproduct though. Oh yeah, cheese too. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's an armor slot. Like, I could put another one right there and it'd be 60 gold. I guess. I don't know.
That was a good game, though. I think this is probably the best chain build I've had. I think Cheese would have been better versus Light Goobert, though. Because Cheese increases our maximum health and it gives us buffs, you know? <clears throat> versus, like, healing. I guess healing isn't horrible. And then the inflicting of blind isn't horrible either. It didn't really matter versus mana build, though, since mana items have a lot of accuracy. So the blind didn't really matter versus this guy, but, you know. Good game.